So thank you so much for the support. We will be continuing this series for a little bit longer. Uh, but now we need to talk about what I did with the, with the ramp. The ramp system off of the freeway was all kind of messed up. I apologize for that. Uh, and districts. So I realized that, first of all, we were going to have a huge traffic issue if we decided, because the way I did it before was that people had to slow down, like like heavily slow down before they went to this uh, off-ramp. So that was going to be an issue. Uh, and I've kept this kind of the same, so there's a, there's a medium-sized road for people that want to enter the freeway and they can kind of easily keep up with the, the pace of traffic without messing it up too much. Uh, now for this other side here, um, I've done a few experiments with it, but it seems like I just had to upgrade it to a small road road and, and, and it's fine now uh, a small road was enough I I will probably maybe try to make it better at some point I mean what I can do is split it up here kind of doing the same sort of function that I did uh, with this off-ramp and then have it you know if, if I wanted it to merge if I wanted them to merge with traffic easier uh, but you know what there's no real reason why anyone I mean this could be backed up if they want there could be heavy traffic if someone's trying to make it onto the highway it's, it doesn't really matter if there's like a whole line of people trying to make it this way. Plus, for, for another reason, it, it's, no one's really going this way. I haven't built out anything over this way just yet. That will probably become a bigger problem as we go through uh, the campaign, but right now it's fine. So, you know, who cares, right? Who cares? Uh, I did rename a few districts. Uh, I have Old Crack Town. Uh, crack Central because this is kind of the area that I plan to uh, put some high des density uh, region, a high density um uh, oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking, residential area in, as well as I want to put high density commercial uh, also. And then this is Crack Industries. So uh, so yeah, let's go a little bit further. Looks like we're having a little bit of electronic, electricity issues, electronic issues. I guess it's kind of the same thing, right? Uh, okay, I don't have money right now for the advanced turbine. Yes, I do. Never mind. I take that back. I lied. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to put that, we'll throw that right there. Doesn't really matter. I believe that we're going to get an incinerator, an incinerator soon. Uh, incineration plant. Yes, we should be able to get that soon. I think within after we reach Big Town, which we will do that. Um, I think right now, if I go to if I go fast enough, let's go to let's go to speed two. I don't think we're going to be facing any other problems. There's a lot of things that we need to do though. Uh, there are a lot of things that we need to do. First of all, we need to get more education up, and I realize the importance of that. Um, at least another high school, at least another elementary school. Obviously, I want to make sure that I get enough money uh, to be able to do that sort of thing. Oops, someone. Someone's just abandoned those buildings. Uh, I need to get up, uh, enough money to be able to get elementary schools and get universities. Uh, universities is kind of still way down the line, but uh, eventually, obviously, I'm going to want to get that. Okay, so uh, exactly what do we get? We got train. We have the service, new services of train. A few more, few more policies, new buildings, train station, cargo train terminal, and hydro power plant. Ooh, really? Flowing water is an infinite source of kin uh, kinetic power. Uh, find a strong current in a river. And build a dam. Ooh. Uh, so that's probably going to be way down the line. I don't think we're going to need that just yet. Oh, you know what? We probably... Oh, here. No, 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 no. No, we haven't made it. Oh, that's... We're far away from that. Wait, this is big city. The next requirement is small city. Ah, that's for the next... That's that's the tiers for... I'm sorry. For the next tier, I guess. That's the reward for the next tier. So I think we already got it. Um, I want to get that up as fast as possible because that's going to help our electricity needs. That's 30,000, though. Uh, by the way, I should mention that I increased the budget. I, I increased the taxes um, of all the uh, zones in my in my city. I, I think I, I, I've heard that if you go any higher than 12, people usually get pretty mad. So I'm going to keep it at 12% instead of 9%. So that's why we're making a little bit more money. I'm not even really going to worry about the loan. I'll repay the loan later. Not not worried about it right now. Uh, I think we're on the verge of, of making a lot of money. I think so. I mean, that's, that's my theory. Okay, so it's raining. Uh, I'm sorry, it's raining. It's snowing snowing crack it's raining crack i guess is what i could say um we need to increase the residential area i'm sorry the industrial area i really need to get better at talking right now so let us maybe kind of continue with the theme of six lane road yeah let's go ahead and do that and i will keep this as compacted together as i can because i would much rather buy new zones for my for the south I don't really want to have to increase or at least buy any new land area for for my industry. This should be enough. So that's why I'm kind of keeping this very compacted together. I mean, I, like I said, eventually I'll have to start to build south of the highway, but uh, I'm not super worried about that at the moment. Okay, so I'm probably going to build this like way out, I think is what I'm going to do. We're going to go like about there, and then, we'll, and then we'll connect. We'll kind of do like a, maybe a little connection, little... Let's see, do I want it to be 
Yeah, yeah, we'll have it go completely diagonal. Do I want to keep this the same? I guess so. That's fine. Okay, and let's let's have them start to build out. So you guys are just gonna build like this. You'll build all on this side for now, and then and then we'll we'll tell them to to build on the other side a little bit later. But for now, this is fine, and that is gonna be perfect. Is there a way I can reach? Uh, I need to watch that middle. Okay. Yeah, I kind of didn't do the best with the water planning here at all. That's that's for sure. I know, I realized that though. I, I realized that like quite a long time ago, but that's okay. Let's just kind of make that right there. Bam. Okay, and then they're going to start to build more industry. Uh, we're going to also need more residential. And I think now is about the time where maybe we should... Well, it's going to speed two, first of all. We're already needing education. I've got 43000 um, bucks. Do I want to increase... Let's not increase this to a high-density zone just yet. But Crack Central will be my, my go-to for that. Let's definitely get another elementary school. I think I'm going to buy both. 30000 for, I think, a high school, right? 24000 Oh, okay, that's not that bad. 10000 for an elementary. So I want an elementary school over this way. And actually, um, what I had planned, because I do have this new medium road, is I think I want to build more sort of, um, I, I guess, quality of life buildings. Uh, they're not really technically quality of life for me, but for the citizens of our city, of Crack, of Crack Island, uh, or Crack Islands, I think I, I want to build it here because I do plan on eventually expanding out towards this way. So, yeah, we're going to build an elementary school here for now. That will be, I think, okay. And I'll build, yeah, like I said, I'm going to build all these buildings along this road because eventually I'm going to kind of connect it up here. We're going to do some things for um, some new suburbs of Crack Islands. Or for that district, I believe it's Old Crack Town. Okay, so like I said, we, we desperately, we already have one high school. Do I need another one, though? I actually don't know if I need another one, per se. Um... If that's going to stay at 994, I think I'm going to give it some time. I'd rather not waste the money. It's not completely at 1000, so, you know, I think another high school would be a, a waste of money, but it'd be an investment into our future, uh, but yeah, I think it'd still be kind of a, a waste of money for now. But we'll keep we'll, we'll watch over that. Um, I definitely definitely want a firehouse. Um, fire is a big issue. That I've I've noticed that like every so often we're just constantly seeing buildings uh, burn to the ground. That's kind of an issue. I, I guess you could say that was an, that's an issue. We should probably think about maybe getting a firehouse up over in this general region. Oh oh I don't I don't have yeah I don't have water going out towards this way. Um, let's see how do I want to do this? We'll go with something like that I guess. Boom. Yeah, yeah, we'll go like that. We don't even need to connect it that far out as long as this part is is uh, zoned off with the water. Okay, yeah. So let's increase let's increase our residential. Well, we, well actually, we don't need the need. We don't we, we don't have any high demands for that just yet. So you know, I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry about it for for now. Um, it is snowing, so let's keep in mind if the roads are gonna be plowed soon. Uh, I'm about. You know, I'm pretty sure there's got to be 10 out of 10 trucks already. Oh, it's 15. I'm sorry. That's that's the landfill. I apologize. 10 out of 10. There it is. Uh, how is the electricity doing? It's starting to fall behind. This is exactly why I want an incineration plant. Uh, the incineration plant will be great for me because uh, I'll be able to uh, obviously remove some of the garbage in the landfills. But at the same time, I'll be getting, I think, what is it, 12 megawatts of electricity out of this? So let's go ahead and throw that down. I know it's 30000 It's quite expensive. But uh, I think in the long run, it'll be good. Yeah, it's going to be loud. But, you know, this is the residential. Or this is the industry area anyway. So, you know, what do you expect? As well as it's going to have 27 garbage trucks go out. So this is a very a good uh, building all around. So that's fantastic. We won't be worrying about garbage anytime soon. And we didn't really have to worry about garbage for a while because, uh, because of this new landfill. I also am considering, because I know a lot of you guys have been suggesting it, and I have been reading uh, up on some of the things some of the more advanced players in the comment section below are suggesting. Um, I, I do realize that I eventually I'm going to need to build a second bridge. Um, maybe we should actually look over traffic at the moment. Well, it's 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 drastically changing because uh, we're at dusk here. But, um, I mean, everyone's kind of should be going home back towards Crack Central and, and Old Crack Town. Everyone should be leaving Crack Industries. There seems to be an issue here. 
And I'm not sure if this... Well, there's nothing I'm going to really do about the runway. I, I guess I could turn it into like a, a six-way, one-way. You know what I mean? A six-lane road, one-way. But that, that seems a little bit of an overkill. We need to try to pull people to try to come around. I think that will help out a lot. I think an issue is that everyone wants to use this this street instead of maybe using it diagonally here, which would be more helpful. I could I could force them to use this street, but would I be getting rid of that many more that many intersections? I I don't know. Uh, yes, I know I have office zones uh, free for me to use. However, I don't have a university at all, so there's I'm gonna be keeping that office zone in the back of my head for quite a long time. But we'll eventually get it up. Okay. I think it is time to briefly start to increase the the to high density. So I'm gonna clear out. Let's let's start. Let's just start it off right here in the middle. Don't want to do much more than that. Bam, and then we'll just connect it like that. Obviously, we're gonna lose citizens in the process, but they'll be coming back, and even stronger than before. Okay, so that's that's fine. Even more than before. Maybe not stronger. They're not coming back with superpowers. At least I hope not. Because they're going to be pretty mad that I just uh, blew up their their entire house. Okay, so we need workers, which is actually perfect because we're going to get... Well, we probably need workers because I, I blew up so many people's houses, but that that's okay. Here it comes. Very good. Uh, obviously, uh, Crack Central is, is going to need to to probably be six lanes at some point. And I'll do that later. I'm not really too stressed out about it right now. doesn't seem like we're having any issues with it at the moment. Well, maybe we are because there's still a lot of area that it needs uh, that needs to be fixed in terms of the snow. Uh, road maintenance is also another big thing that I'm gonna need to keep in mind for the future. Uh, the snow dump, but the road maintenance depot is gonna be pretty important. It's gonna cost forty thousand. Um, houses, maintenance vehicles, they travel around the city to boost road uh, boost roads, allowing travel. To at higher than normal speeds. So that might be useful, but not until we absolutely need it. I'm not really worried about it too much right now, but uh, but we'll kind of keep that in mind for the future. I'm at 44,000, so I, I should maybe get something. I'm thinking I'm thinking the firehouse is next, or the fire station uh, should be should be next. Although I, I don't mind, you know, I, I actually do think that we should. I'm gonna throw down maybe a large pr uh, playground or something like that. Park with trees. How little of area is this going to... Oh, this is going to reach a pretty pretty wide area. I'd like to build it up up here, though. Hmm. Because I don't plan on really building too much to the south. I mean, I, I could try to... I could just bulldoze a bunch of these buildings. Uh, geez, who do I want to make happy? I feel like the people in, the, uh, in this zone are going to be the most upset. Because, you know, there's going to be buildings everywhere. I'll eventually be increasing to uh, six-lane roads. People are going to be pretty upset about that. Maybe I shouldn't build this one. This is a, this is a huge park with trees, but that costs only 5000 compared to the large playground. It'll be for kids. I guess we will go with the large playground. Here's a small park. Oh, yeah, I'd rather just do the small park. That's fine. Uh, and I maybe I'll do it like this. Seems like we're going to reach more... More people like that. Okay, so I'll build it right here in the corner. I don't think we're going to be bulldozing that many houses. Actually, we are, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Be happy. You don't have a house anymore, but that's okay. All right, and let's let's continue on. We already have built a few buildings. Good. Uh, what's the capacity at here? Or how are we doing? Everyone moving in? That's okay. Uh, obviously, we need to work on educate more citizens to allow the building to be upgraded. Yes, education is important. That's what I've been saying so far in this video, and, I, and now I, I definitely realize that. Okay, so I'm going to throw out all this stuff, and we'll put in more high buildings. There we go. Uh, what am I doing? 57,000? Education-wise, how are we? Let's, that's a, this is a good time to check, actually, while that starts to be, be built. Uh, in terms of el elementary school, I mean, we're barely, barely past um, average, I guess. I don't know if you want to call yellow average. Yellow is probably more of a cautionary sort of color. Uh, we do need high school. We do need high school. Okay, so that's fine. Th that's what we'll do then. So I have one high school here. Let's let's definitely build the other one next to uh, the old crack town. And I could build it on this side. Would that have a bigger impact? I don't think it would make that much of a difference, but I'll build it on this side either way. 
but across the street. There you go. You got an elementary school, and across the street, we've got a nice old high school. So uh, that's cool. Uh, also, yeah, if you want to build a house here, you can do that because I won't be able to fit anything there. Okay, cool. Also, what's going on, man? What's going on with these snow plows? They have not done a very good job. I don't know if it's traffic reasons or what, but you got to fix that stuff. Traffic-wise, it is dawn, so let's kind of keep an eye on, on what's going on here. I do believe that, I mean, these one-ways really, really helped out. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do that again, somewhat do that again. There, I mean, we've, we can pretty much force this to go one way because there's nowhere else anyone can go with this intersection, but it's, I don't think it's going to really fix anything. Uh, oh, okay, good. People are using this side more. I'm hoping that distributes the traffic a, a little bit. Why are people going back on the highway? Uh, maybe those are the people that work in the commercial area. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're almost at 6,000 citizens. That's good. In terms of most things we're doing, okay. There's no need for anything. Uh, I'm, I, you know, my bus, my buses are doing okay. I don't know really what the, what the average is of what you could, you know, s technically say is okay in terms of like how, how many citizens are, that are using your, your public transportation. Right now it says 163 per week. I don't think that is too good out of a town of 6,000. It doesn't sound like it's good. It'd be nice if we get like a thousand people onto the bus system. I mean, obviously I would probably need a much better, um, or much more lines, many more lines, not much more lines. Okay, good. So now the snow is... Okay, maybe we should deploy a few more trucks. Because it has been snowing a lot. I feel like we have not stopped snowing this entire video. Okay, there's a fire. Uh, let's check on some of the overlays. And actually, now that I think about it... I mean, how are we doing in terms of crime? Crime seems like it's fine. Yeah, I don't... There's nothing wrong with crime just yet. We already checked transportation. I want to check on maybe education. Education, elementary schools barely make it. Uh, maybe we should throw down another elementary school. I don't, I don't mind that. Uh, no universities just yet, and that's fine. I, I don't think we are really, we don't need to. Residential happiness is at 66%. That's okay. I guess I'll take that. Uh, garbage. Garbage, we're doing great. Yeah, that in, that incinerary. incinerary. Is it a, incineration plan, I guess, is is what the, the, the game refers to it as. Uh, levels. Okay, so here's here's the snow overlay. Yeah, that would, that would, that would make sense. Why, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Why there's probably a lot of issues. We should probably build one. We're at 67,000. We can kind of do a lot right now. Uh, I don't think I need to be as frugal with my money. I'm mean, making about 6,000. I think, is this per week? Yeah, weekly in income. So let's go ahead and maybe throw down throw down a snow dump. I mean, geez, the weather has been a really big issue. Uh, and I could just throw it down here, right next to, right next to the dump. People aren't going to hear it. Yeah, this is perfect, actually. So yeah, we're gonna throw that th throw that down towards the commercial and residential zones, and I think that we'll be uh, we'll be okay. I mean, that was the initial plan. That's why I kind of wanted to extend that out so much. First of all, to avoid pollution, but I figured that uh, hey, wait a second. Oh, that's right, because you need you need water. Okay, fine. We'll go just barely out enough for you to to be satisfied with that. Uh, again, in the next video, we'll probably have to be upgrading most of these medium-sized roads to six-way roads. Maybe want to push um, but, uh, cycling. Uh, I'm a somewhat of a cyclist myself, you know, uh, uh, an amateur cyclist. So somewhat, somewhat. So it'd be good to maybe you know get the citizens of my own uh, crack islands to also try to bicycle, be more envi environmental and stuff like that. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.